Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD once again for another episode of my daily stock market insights. And in this video, I am going to discuss my recommended stocks in the US market that are showing very attractive setups right now. And uh, I am going to uh, share you my thought process why I say that these stocks are of a buy signal at the moment. Okay. In the meantime, if uh, this is the kind of uh, video that you want to watch and uh, monitor every single day, uh, feel free to hit the sub subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos. I do review stocks in the U.S. market. I, I also record um, my uh, insights for the Philippine market and sometimes cryptocurrency. So a lot of things that I can uh, share in this channel. So, all right. I hope you'd uh, join join me humble community here okay let's start with <clears throat> um, the first stock so far I will be reviewing one two three four five six seven I have seven stocks that are really giving us some very attractive setups the first one is and by the way guys as we speak right now time here in the Philippines it's uh, 1 16 a.m. it's uh, March 3rd 2021 and uh, I don't know what time it is in your area, but the market is still open. The U.S. market is still open as we speak. So um, maybe if you will be watching this after the market closes, just uh, take note that uh, I am reviewing this while the market is still open. Okay, so uh, let me first talk about uh, Tilray. Tilray right now has... Uh, started to show some recovery here and it has for me this is already a confirmation of a bounce and uh, chances are we could easily we could easily break this um, MA20 line I'm using a Bollinger Band as our main indicator as of this time and uh, the volume and RSI those are the indicators I use so this is perfect for uh, position traders because uh, as you can see here when the price dropped so this is a drastic decline or a significant drop in a short amount of or in a short period of time and then uh, slowly on uh, starting on the 23rd of February we were just stabilizing within this area and right now uh, the green that happened yesterday which actually ended much higher than the the last day's red candlestick so it is much higher and it was supported by today's uh, market performance for Tilray. So one thing we need to uh, challenge as of this time is the MA20 line. So something to watch out for. So uh, maybe if, I don't know, market is still open, the price could fluctuate and uh, could even touch the uh, projected uh, support at the uh, 2399 or 24, uh, 24 level. Okay, so if we are let's say if you want to get in anywhere from 24 to uh, 27 that's a, a variance of 14 14 percent so if you want to haggle a, a, a few cents or uh, yeah a few dollars then uh, probably you can try entering somewhere around uh, 26 so your call you can enter around uh, 2609 or even lower than that but uh, one thing's for sure, this is already giving us a very, very attractive setup uh, for uh, a possible bounce. Okay, and then all you have to do is just just set your uh, profit taking level. You don't really know if uh, this uh, spike over here could be achieved in a small amount of time or it might take a long time. So if you're happy with a 30% gain, 50% gain, then uh, that's at least nearer. Okay, that's for Tilray. Second one is Zynerba. Zynerba is uh, also a bounce. As you can see, we have a significant spike over here and then uh, it's a pump and dump thing, right? All of a sudden, a big move over here and it dropped. So uh, as of this time, uh, we are also still very near at a possible area of support well that's a seven percent 
um, higher than our uh, projected. So it's an area, so that means it could be slightly lower or higher. But point is, we are very near a, a possible support here. So uh, you just have to set, set up and decide uh, which key level would you would like to uh, get in as of this time. So I think what we need at this point is for the uh, sudden spike in the volume. So it's better that the inc increase in the price is paired uh, by a good volume. So one perfect example here is, look at this, uh, all the while we are doing sideways here, no significant change in the volume, then all of a sudden there's a big spike. And uh, it one, there's a big spike in the volume. Also, we ended outside of the Bollinger Band. So what happened next was there was a continuation to the upside. That's a big jump in the price. So that's what we are waiting for. If you really want to be on the conservative side, uh, try to wait for that big volume to spike up. That means uh, institutions or big players are already showing interest in this. But if you're more of a position trader, uh, a lot of position trading technique is people get in while the others are not really showing interest so that you are already ahead of the game. You have entered at the very ideal place and then you just ride the wave when the rest of the population decides to get in in this uh, stock, right? So that's the setup. 451 is the support I see. Next is AT&T. Same here. Uh, one good thing about the company is the fact that uh, this has a very good uh, yield at the moment, right? Uh, for dividend, and it's uh, it has been giving uh, consistent dividend uh, for the past, I, I forgot how many years, but consistently, okay? You just have to search that. I did not uh, get the data, but I have searched that before. I'm not sure if 15 or 20 years of uh, being consistent in giving out uh, dividends. So one, that's uh, a passive income on your end if you want to stay uh, at an extended period of time for AT&T. At the same time, Look at this. If we end much higher than uh, this candlestick from yesterday, then that simply means we have engulfed that candlestick and that's a, a bullish signal. At the same time, we have just moved within this range uh, for the past three days. And uh, if we respect the 2794, then that's already a con confirmation that we are just very near a possible support. Okay, so it's an area, guys. So it could be slightly higher or lower. Look at this. There was a confirmation, if you were to look back. That key level was also a support. Also uh, supported in this key area. This one too. Okay, so that is our support, which is 1% away from our support level. So expect that this stock is really not going to give us massive uh, spikes in you know in the next few days but one thing you can bank on is that you will have a regular income if you want to uh, stay in this stock for uh, a long period of time okay so just uh, add volume each time look at your potential look at how much it has dropped uh, pre-pandemic time Okay, back in January of last year, it was ranging around 39. When everything's back to normal and let's say it goes back to this level, one, you have a capital appreciation and then of course your dividend yield is an added income on your side. All right, guys, let's go to the next stock over here and that is Merck. Now, Merck is also giving us some um, promising signs, early signs of re recovery over here after a, a strong decline. And in today's candlestick, actually, it is already a third day where we have been bouncing uh, the 72.41 level. So if today's um, uh, market performance, let's say the price ends higher than uh, uh, 73.20 or 73.50, then that is a very good sign. So if you want to wait for that confirmation to come out uh, in today's market, market, then you can probably enter tomorrow. If, or if you want to do some test buy, 
then try to get in as near as you can to the 7231, 7241 level. Okay, so it's, for now, that's the area I am looking at as a possible support. Now, in case that does not sustain, it's going to be the next um, support area I'm looking at is a bit far. So just make sure you set your stop loss really early if uh, uh, the action is not uh, going to go in the direction we want. Okay, but for now, I see uh, some promising movements here uh, because we're already uh, at the oversold level and we have started to uh, recover and we're now inside the uh, 32 area in our RSI. Okay, next is um, ACB. ACB over here is um, Aurora Cannabis Incorporated. And uh, also, uh, this talk, this has already been, this is the second day where we have already started uh, to demonstrate or show some uh, possible signs of, you know, change in direction. Our support is around the 1047 level. So just uh, take note that we have an MA20 line here and in the short term, that could also act as a possible resistance. But I feel that the moment where we reach this level and there is some good volume over here, we could easily break that. But trying to um, visualize our potential upside here, if it is going to uh, recover right away, then that's an 82% potential growth. So, but if you, let's say you want to heckle and you will not take you will not wait for the price to reach this level, then let us say you Let's say you enter right here and then you take profit right at this level, then that's going to be around 29%. But overall, between uh, your risk and your possible reward, uh, there's a, a bigger, you know, upside uh, at this point. If I am also going to uh, draft or draw our trend line over here, we are still within that if you're going to look at the uh, long-term um, time horizon see that we are still uh, respecting it it's just that we had we had this big spike that happened on the week of february 8th that's why i'm not sure hopefully people have uh, exited right away when uh, they entered at this level so for now i can say that the price is already starting to stabilize and it looks like we are about to change the uh, direction or the sentiment of this stock. Look at the big picture over here. Okay, so the big picture here is this. At one point, this stock has been moving within this range. So even if you are just going to stay there for what, I don't know, a few months, then that's already a if it goes back right away, you know, that's a 1000% increase. But we don't really know. So if you want to be on the conservative side and wait for a 30 to 50% gain and then you exit right away, your call. But definitely, this is a very attractive setup. And uh, so far, um, this uh, this stock or the the this, um, I'm looking for that term, the, the business model itself, right? The category where they belong, right? Is already starting to, to gain some popularity. And uh, a lot of people are already uh, considering marijuana stocks uh, in the past few months. Okay, next one is Palantir. Palantir, on a weekly chart, um, not much of a movement here, uh, but we have already shown uh, some possible bounce happening right there. So it's just stabilizing uh, at this level, uh, but market is still open, as I mentioned, so anything can happen. And if you want to just be on the conservative side, you can try to enter somewhere near 2341. 
which at this point I see as a possible support. If just clearly looking at uh, support and resistance, we are um, we are at the support level at the moment. So that is C. If you can, if you want, you can do a test buy, but definitely there's a big uh, potential because at one point the price has also reached as high as 40. This is one of the stocks where we see a big uh, growth potential. GameStop. What is happening in GameStop? I've been closely monitoring this because I also have a position right here. I, I did enter in trenches here. I had a 115, 118, but I also had a very tiny uh, share at the 135 and 130. So I'm waiting for it to to take off because we're about to trigger this uh, upper Bollinger Band here and we came from uh, this key level and it looks like for the past three days we've been landing at this area and just bouncing and today we started a little higher and uh, most of the movements are are towards pushing the uh, upper Bollinger Band so I am bullish in this stock especially because uh, this has also started to gain some some popularity and it's, it's, it is being hyped up by, by so many people so chances are uh, there's a big possibility that uh, a big spike can happen soon. You were given an opportunity during this period over here and uh, look at the volume. There wasn't any volume and then all of a sudden there was a big spike over here so that mean that already means something. And then there's a, a, a continuation, but it just filled that gap. Okay, remember it did a gap up. And normally when we do have a gap, tendency is the gap will be filled. And uh, in some occasions, it takes a long time before a gap can be filled. But in this case, it was filled the same day. And uh, we are now showing some signs of recovery right now. So, these are the seven stocks that I see um, showing really attractive setup. So do your own research. Don't just get in because I said it's showing uh, big potential. It has to match your profile, guys. My profile is I am a position trader. I don't mind staying in these stocks uh, for an extended period of time in exchange of a a greater reward okay thank you guys for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe and uh, click the notification bell so you're always updated now in case you have not set up your account yet uh, to start trading in the US I have a link down below I use eToro uh, when I trade stocks cryptocurrency in the US market very easy to navigate so just uh, try it out there thank you guys for watching and bye bye for now